Good morning and welcome to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. We're very glad you joined us this morning. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Mercy Medical Center and Studio Arts and Glass, and of course, our socially distant technical producer, J.D. DeAngelis. We continue our shows from our studio at the administrative offices and wish our friends at WHBC and our listening audience continued good health. In the studio with me is Brad White, a compounding pharmacist and vice president of Medicine Center Pharmacies. All right. Good morning. Most of the time we think about being well as avoiding colds and flu so we can go about our normal lives. At the Medicine Center, our focus is always on patients and their wellness. We want to help you develop a plan to stay well, especially during this pandemic. And today we want to share some tips to help all of you stay healthy and accomplish the best life you can and do those things that bring you joy. We'd like to remind our listeners today that our program is available on our podcast that can be downloaded from the app store on the mobile phone. Just look for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. And we're pleased to say that this morning we're streaming live on all our Facebook channels for all our pharmacies. And I'm hoping that um, we have a great show today. So without further ado, onward and upward. Okay, friends, I'd like to start today by sharing some exciting news. Our Medicine Center pharmacies have been, noted, have been voted best pharmacy for the third consecutive year by readers of the Canton Repository. We are also nominated for, stuck page. We also are nominated for um, neighbors, best neighbors pharmacy of the year. We're proud of your pharmacy. Thankful for those who voted for us. Thank you for your continued support. And as Brad mentioned earlier, staying well is a priority. And like all priorities, it requires a plan or strategy to successfully fulfill the priority. This morning, we'd like to share our top 10 tips for staying well. So tip number one, stay immunized. That's a bad word, I can't get it out. Brad, can you tell our listeners about immunizations we currently offer? Well, I'd be remiss if in toward the end of September, we didn't talk about the flu vaccine immunization. And we've seen a lot of interest from patients so far this year in interest in getting vaccinized, vaccinated with the flu vaccine. Um, with the COVID-19 pandemic, there's been a lot of concern about additional infections that are out there in the environment. Um, so we have both the traditional quadrivalent flu vaccine for all patients ages six years and older, and we have the high dose flu vaccine for patients that are 65 years and older. Um, we've got a number of other vaccines that are very popular this time of year. Usually when you think of flu vaccine, you also think of pneumonia. And an awful lot of people get pneumonia every year, and there are two vaccines that can help protect you to prevent getting back uh, to getting viral pneumonia. So, you know, there's one, um, there's a vaccine called Prevnar 13, and there's a vaccine called Pneumovax 23. And, um, you know, generally those are recommended for patients ages 65 and older. Um, talk to your healthcare provider or your, your pharmacist, and we can make and give you some advice based on your particular medical condition. Um, but we have a lot of other vaccines at the pharmacy. You know, some of the popular vaccines um, have been for healthcare professionals like hepatitis A or hepatitis B vaccine. We also have had a lot of patients that have new babies or grandparents that are interested in getting protected with uh, tetanus, uh, diphtheria, and pertussis vaccines because that's a popular one that needs a booster sometimes. So if you have a vaccine need, or if you're gonna be traveling out of the country and have a specialized vaccine that you might need, give us a call at the pharmacy and we can help you get what you need to get protected. So I'm hearing from people that it's a little bit intimidating um, to get a vaccine or immunization during a pandemic. Can you address this concern and share how we're managing this at the medicine center pharmacies? This is an interesting concept. Uh, yes. So we've had uh, patients that come into the pharmacy as normal and they want to get a vaccine and that's no problem. We're happy to take care of them. But we've had some patients that have actually uh, wanted to call and schedule an appointment so that we can have all the paperwork ready and try to do the best we can to get them in and out of the pharmacy in a timely fashion with low contact points. Um, so what we've done actually just in the last week, we've enhanced our website and you can actually go on our website and you can click on the services button and then schedule an appointment 
And you can schedule an appointment based on the store you'd like to get your vaccine at. And we have time slots available and we will carve out a time spot just for you so that you can have a special appointment just for your vaccine. Um, we've already had patients take advantage of this. So it's pretty exciting to see that that's been well received. And um, we hope that it'll help streamline the patient's visit in and out of the pharmacy so that they can feel confident that they've been taken care of in, a, in an efficient and safe way. So tip number two, know your numbers. Um, Brad, can you explain what know your numbers means and what lab tests we offer at the Medicine Center Pharmacy? Well, this is interesting. We have, um, especially during the pandemic, we know that many healthcare providers out of caution for their, their practice and their patients have canceled well visits. So what we've seen is, is some, we've had some demand from patients who are interested in knowing what their cholesterol number is or, or what their uh, hemoglobin A1C is if they have diabetes. So for quite a long time, we were offering uh, the first Tuesday of each month, we were offering healthcare screenings. And we're going to be returning to offering these healthcare screenings in the beginning of October. And what we're going to do is similar to our ability to schedule an appointment with a vaccine, you're going to be able to schedule an appointment to come in and get your lipid panel for cholesterol or your A1C or your thyroid TSH done or your vitamin D test. And um, we'll be able to carve out a special time to you to make it safe and efficient for you to come in and get your lab test. And um, it'll help you be more informed to communicate with your doctor, especially if you've only been able to have a, a televisit and haven't been able to go get lab work. Um, another thing that uh, patients have been really interested in is we've been able to provide these lab tests in a manner which are much more cost effective than maybe their out-of-pocket insurance expenses might cost them. So that's something that we can help too with. So what are the lab tests cost? So the lab tests, um, the lab tests vary. So we do a lipid profile, which means you can get a lipid, uh, you get cholesterol, you get total cholesterol, you get HDL, you get LDL, and um, you get glucose with that too. And that's $35. And that test takes about five or six minutes to run and you get the results real time in the store on our really nice Cholestec LDX machines. They are a, uh, a really nice uh, device that helps get this blood work for you. Um, we can do A1C tests, as I mentioned earlier. Um, A1C tests run $35. Those tests take about four minutes and you get live results in the store that same day. You don't have to wait on those. TSH has been another really popular item that we've had patients uh, interested in. Uh, this test actually is a mail-away test. So what we do is we collect a blood sample. Uh, they cost $39 and uh, we mail those in and we get results generally in about seven days. Usually it's a little faster, um, but then we can um, contact you with that information. And all these lab tests, we can share the information with your provider if you wish. Um, so that's something that's... Um, that's easy for us to do. And then we have the ability to keep track of it in the pharmacy system so that if for some reason a year from now, uh, your provider needs to know what your lab tests were this week, we can look that up for you and provide that information in a readily retrievable manner. So we try to keep all those records uh, at, the, at our fingertips for you. Okay, tip number three, support your immune system. What supplements do you recommend, Brad? This is something that's kind of near and dear to my heart because we can all hope that a COVID-19 vaccine is going to come out, be safe, and be effective very soon. Um, you know, as far as that goes, it, we really should touch on that quick. But, you know, that may be out in the next month or three months. I don't know. But it sounds like there's going to be high demand. It also sounds like it's going to be something that it may take a while for everyone to get. So um, what you can do in the meantime is you can make sure you set yourself up for success with respect to your immune system. Simple things, getting enough sleep, um, eating a proper diet. If we want to get an extra little bit of support, you know, a simple multivitamin, like one of our uh, best multivitamins is our Linus Pauling super multivitamins. Um, it's something that um, has been a cornerstone of our diets for years at the pharmacy. Um, vitamin D, simple thing. You know, if you supplement with vitamin D on a daily basis between two and 4,000 units, depending on what um, your pharmacist or doctor recommends, um, vitamin D plays an instrumental role in immune system. And since we live in Ohio, even though we had a pretty nice summer, 
Um, you know, the sun is really important to help make vitamin D in our bodies. And um, given that we're rolling into fall here pretty quick, it'd be a great idea if you, you added some vitamin D to your profile. And that can really help give you some benefit. Um, many chronic diseases show deficiencies in vitamin D. And um, it doesn't mean that low vitamin D causes some of these chronic conditions like heart disease or diabetes, but it may mean that extra vitamin D would be helpful to support them. So there's a lot more studies on that. And we see more and more physicians prescribing vitamin D as a prescription for patients. Um, probiotic. You know, um, if you get an antibiotic this year, a probiotic is a great idea. Um, it's something that can help you with um, restore your good bacteria in your gut. If you ever have some digestive issues, it might be a good idea to restore that good bacteria that helps us digest our food. And a lot of our immune system starts in the gut. You can appreciate every all the food you put in your mouth when you hopefully are washing your hands well, but when you touch your mouth, you know, your, your mouth and your GI tract is like your first defense against bacteria and viruses and foreign invaders. So um, if you've got good healthy flora in your GI tract, that's something that you can really uh, you can really benefit from. And then if you want to step it up a notch, um, we've got some products at the pharmacy like um, our immunity power or our empower products um, that are like this product is a beta glucan product that has some vitamin D in it. Um, I've been taking one of these every day since um, October, 2019, and I haven't had a cold or a cold or a sniffle since. I don't know if it's good luck or if it's something like this, that's helped me keep my immune system up with the vitamin D and the multivitamin. So I think it's something to keep in mind that, um, you can, you can give yourself an advantage by proper supplementation and proper diet and exercise. Um, but don't overlook some of these things that can really help boost your immune system. Okay. Take your vitamins is important for children also. And, um, how about telling our listeners about our special vitamin program for children's vitamins? Well, that's great. We can do that. Um, so we have um, a nice vitamin program for kids ages kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, you can walk into any one of our pharmacies and sign them up and get a free bottle of uh, multivitamins. They're chewable. And um, each month you can get a free bottle of vitamins for the kids to help give them a good basic foundation um, for their dietary needs. Um, again, it's just something to help make sure you round out that daily diet. It's not to replace anything, but you know, for something to give you that little bit of boost for being healthy, I think that's something that you ought to consider. So ages K through five, you can walk into any of the medicine center pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia and sign up. There's no charge. Uh, you just need a child in kindergarten through grade five. And we have several thousand people on this program already. And we've been, we've been running this program for about three years, I think now. And as Brad is saying, it's extremely successful. So so tip number four, limit exposure, or we, or as we hear in the news, limit contacts. Staying away from others may be sort of a, a sick way to deal with this thing, but, but, you know, to explain how easy we can make this for our listeners, Brad. Okay. One of the things we can do at the pharmacy is we can, we've kind of adapted our services to meet the needs of a variety of patient desires. Um, different patients have different needs, different patients have different <clears throat> levels of risk. So um, while we still have walk-in service, you can walk in the pharmacy, we have nice acrylic barriers to protect um, both the patient and our staff from any airborne illness. Uh, you know, we're all wearing masks at the pharmacy because the, the governor and the CDC recommend that in the pharmacy, especially since it can be an area where there's a higher risk for infection, um, we're doing those things, but we also offer other modalities. Our drive-through windows at all our pharmacies are very busy and efficient, and it helps minimize that ability for, for you having to get out of your car and, and do things that might, um, might make you feel uncomfortable. So by all means, take care of our, or take advantage of our drive-up windows. Um, we have home delivery. We've had home delivery for decades. Okay, so we have patients um, that aren't able to drive or maybe are concerned about driving in the pandemic situation. 
So, hey, no problem. Give us a call at the pharmacy or hit our website up and we can schedule you a home delivery. And finally, we have curbside service. So, you know, we have the ability now where you can drive up to the pharmacy in the parking lot. You can text us and uh, we can bring your bag out to you. So whichever makes you feel more comfortable, uh, we can do all that for you. Okay. Our first breaks here. You listen to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. From 1976 to the new year, 2020, we've been part of the Canton community. This year, we celebrate 44 years of service. Thank you for your business and continued support of the Medicine Center Pharmacies. A lot has changed in the pharmacy world over the past 44 years, but one thing hasn't, our commitment to your health. Stop by your local Medicine Center Pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. Mercy Medical Center wants you to know we are here for you literally and virtually. For our patient safety, Mercy is providing virtual doctor appointments from the comfort of your home. This service is available for staff care, urgent care, seven days a week, and Mercy Primary Care Monday through Friday. See our website at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth for office and appointment hours. Mercy telehealth visits are simple, convenient, and can be used by anyone who has access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer our mercy representatives are ready and happy to assist you so whether you are in need of urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries or would like a one-on-one with a mercy primary care physician mercy is here for you mercy medical center telehealth appointments learn more at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth that's cantonmercy.org slash telehealth online appointments are considered medical services and will be billed to your insurance co-pays and deductibles apply Is CBD oil right for you? That may seem like a simple question, but the answers don't come from a convenience food store or a mall kiosk. Your medicine center pharmacist is the most accessible healthcare professional. Our pharmacists have been trained to provide expert CBD oil information to tailor therapies like CBD capsules, tinctures, lotions, and ointments to your particular need. We have the highest quality, organic, Colorado-grown, non-GMO, full-spectrum CBD oil products. Visit the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult times, please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Have Kleenex, pain relievers, fever reducers such as Tylenol and cough syrup like Robitussin, Dayquil, cough drops, and maybe a humidifier. And make sure you take a good multivitamin like Linus Pauling Super Multivitamins. Also, you might get a good probiotic and make sure that you get plenty of rest and plenty of nutritious food. The Medicine Center Pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Brad and I are sharing our top 10 tips for good health today. So Brad, um, our tip number five, follow the doctor's directions. If you, if, if you are like me, you have the best intentions when it comes to following your doctor's directions, but sometimes our memory plays tricks on us. We think we took our medicine, but we did not. Brad, can we tell our listeners how we can help that? Well, we can. And uh, we got a couple ways to uh, help patients with that now. And um One of the things we like to do is we like to make sure that you understand why you're taking your medication. Sometimes we find patients maybe um, aren't sure why their doctor ordered their medication and it makes them less likely to take it. Um, But we do have um, this nice packaging. We call it our easy dose packs. And um, it's available from all of our pharmacies. Uh, We can make arrangements to package your medication in individual blister packs. Um, It helps you basically organize your medication by dose each day. So you can have a packet for 8 a.m. in the morning, you can have a packet for 12 noon, and you can have a packet uh, maybe for 8 p.m. if you need to take something three times a day. 
So you're able to see the tablets in the package, so you know exactly what's in it. Um, it also has the directions on each package, not in, in addition to the time and the date you're supposed to take it. So it's really nice that uh, if you're thinking, did I take my medication this morning? You can go to your easy dose pack strips and you can look in the package and look at the next packet and you can see when the next time is you're supposed to take it. So it helps you keep track of everything and it's really nice and efficient. And um, we've got hundreds of patients using this now. And it's something that we started out using in our assisted living facilities and some of the nursing homes because they like to have the flexibility to organize their medications in those environments. And now patients um, that live in their home or even travel across the country like truck drivers or executives that have a lot of business travel. Um, this is something that's really convenient to take two, three days or a week's worth of medication and you don't have to gather up all those bottles and take them with you and try to keep track of them. One of the things that I've found, and I take more than one or two medicines, and, and one of the things that, that kind of perplexes me is you have meds that you take daily, and then you have a med maybe that you take every other day, okay? So with using our, our, our unit dose packaging here, um, you're not going to miss that every other day dose of a med. Um, and, you know, we also carry a wide variety of uh, pill boxes where you can in the stores for sale, which you can, you know, put your own meds in if you wish to do it that way. But it's very important that you take the meds daily that are supposed to be taken daily or multi-daily times. And the ones that just that you're supposed to take every other day if, if you have any meds with that regimen. So so that's one of the one of the ways to kind of manage things and and make sure you get those uh, every other day meds. So so tip number six, manage your chronic conditions, whether it's high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, or other conditions, managing them to stay in line with your physician's recommendations is critical. Can you tell our listeners how we help our patients manage chronic meds and make it affordable? Absolutely. Not only can you utilize something like our easy dose packs that we just talked about, um, we have embraced in our pharmacies what we like to call a health coach. And we have trained our pharmacy technicians and our pharmacists to help give that patient the extra level of care and attention that they need to make sure that they have all the medications they need when they need them. And so what our health coaches do is uh, they will call patients that take medications on a regular basis about a week before they need them. We will go over their medications, find out if they've been to a doctor's office lately, maybe they've had some medication change, I hope they haven't, but you know, maybe they had a hospitalization and they had some med changes um, in that regard. And as a result, they need to have some updates done to their file. And um, so we basically try to have a mini interview the week before the patient gets their medications. And then we both agree on a day that is either best for them to come into the pharmacy and pick it up, or if they need home delivery, we can make that home delivery for them. So it's something that's really convenient. Um, it helps us have all the medications in stock when the patient needs them. It helps us try to minimize the number of trips the patient needs to make to the pharmacy each month. And that helps, we value their time in that way. And it helps make sure that we have everything that they need. And it also helps us give us an opportunity to look at their file and have a discussion and say, you know, Mr. Jones, we do have flu shots available. So why don't you plan an extra five minutes when you come in and we can make sure we give you that vaccine when you pick up your medication and it makes the visit even more efficient for the patient and helps them with their health care overall. I believe we're very close to a break here. So I think we'll take that break now. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. What's next? Keep listening to find out. Thank you for the wonderful work that you do to keep us informed of what's going on around this state. Because the news never stops. Never stops. Yes, it's that. And neither do we. Everything is on the Internet. You can find all the topics. 1480 WHBC and WHBC.com. 
WHBC AM 10. Reliable as ever on News Talk 1480 WHBC. From the News Talk 1480 WHBC newsroom, the entire football team for Independence Middle School is quarantined. A player tested positive for COVID-19. The eighth grade class has now switched to virtual learning there. Good news, there are now only five Ohio counties in the red on the coronavirus map. Summit County has dropped to yellow. The makers of Bluebell ice cream have been fined more than $17 million over a listeria outbreak from 2015. Bluebell creameries pleaded guilty earlier this year to distributing contaminated products that were manufactured in unsanitary conditions. Jeez. Moderna, the biotech company, says it has already enrolled 25,000 volunteers for its final trial stage for a COVID-19 vaccine. The CEO says they'll know by November if the vaccine is ready to go, and then it could be deployed by the end of the year. They downgraded Hurricane Sally, and she may have left Florida, but flooding and destruction left in her wake unbelievable. Officials report 30 inches of rain in four hours, which they say is really four months of rain. Gosh. The Sarshon Ford Radio Game of the Week is Louisville at Hoover, and that's where our All Care Stadium show will be today. The TV game is Canton South at Alliance, our stream game, Benedictine at Maslin. Don't forget, we have tomorrow night high school football, Perry at McKinley. For News Talk 1480 WHBC, I'm Pam Cook. More news coming up at 10 o'clock. Mercy Medical Center wants you to know we are here for you literally and virtually. For our patient safety, Mercy is providing virtual doctor appointments from the comfort of your home. This service is available for staff care, urgent care, seven days a week, and Mercy Primary Care Monday through Friday. See our website at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth for office and appointment hours. Mercy telehealth visits are simple, convenient, and can be used by anyone who has access to a smartphone, tablet, or Computer. Our Mercy representatives are ready and happy to assist you. So, whether you are in need of urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries or would like a one-on-one -on -one with a Mercy primary care physician, Mercy is here for you. Mercy Medical Center telehealth appointments. Learn more at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. That's cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. Online appointments are considered medical services and will be billed to your insurance co-pays and deductibles apply. Yes, we are open. We are open. The Medicine Center Pharmacies and the Half Off and Out Buy Store in Louisville are open. Some great services are still in play. Our drive through windows, curb service, and our enhanced delivery service. Our stores are fully inventoried and fully staffed for your convenience. 13 pharmacists to help you with your medications and over-the-counter products. So don't hesitate to visit us or use one of our services. Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, New Philadelphia, and Minerva. Brighten your day with beautiful stained glass from Studio Arts and Glass. Let the sun shine in through a stunning beveled glass window that forms a rainbow on your walls. Commission a piece of art to cherish for years. All at Studio Arts and Glass on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, or shop online at studioartsandglass.com. That's studioartsandglass.com. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult times, please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Have Kleenex, pain relievers, fever reducers such as Tylenol and cough syrup like Robitussin, Dayquil, cough drops, and maybe a humidifier. And make sure you take a good multivitamin like Linus Pauling Super Multivitamins. Also, you might get a good probiotic and make sure that you get plenty of rest and plenty of nutritious food. The Medicine Center Pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. Your severe weather station, News Talk 1480 WHBC. Here's your active weather forecast. Partly cloudy skies continuing for the rest of the day. Cool this afternoon with a high of 63. Clear and cool this evening with near record-breaking low temperatures with a low of 41. Then Saturday will be partly sunny. High tomorrow, 63. Clear and chilly Saturday night, low 41. Then we'll have plenty of sunshine on Sunday. High on Sunday, 65. I'm Holly Holdren for News Talk 1480 WHBC. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, 
Paul White. You are listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and I'm your host and pharmacist, Paul White. Today, Brad and I are sharing tips to stay well. We've got a lot more to cover this morning, so let's get back to the show. So, Brad, um, I think we're at tip number eight. Is that correct? Yes. Know your pharmacist. Know your pharmacist's name. You've heard the expressions, knowledge is power. Well, when it comes to maintaining good health, you need to know your pharmacist. And you should probably know him by name and develop a relationship so you can feel comfortable discussing your healthcare issues with him anytime. So ask for your pharmacist to discuss anything about your meds, concerns you may have. Brad, what are the benefits of knowing your pharmacist by name? You know, one of the things that's been really rewarding as a pharmacist for me, and I know it has been for you, is to make relationships with patients over the years and kind of get to know their family and their and their situations. And um, you get to celebrate things like their births and their marriages and their and you get to suffer through other things when they have, uh, you know, tragedies in their life too. But it kind of makes it more meaningful when we can help work together through problems that they have medically. And sometimes that could be a situation where, like we touched on earlier, maybe the patient's struggling to manage multiple medications. Um, So it's a lot easier to have a discussion and be honest with someone you trust than maybe to talk to someone who you're worried is going to be judgmental of you when you've never met him before, or maybe you're just talking to him over the phone and you, you know, it's some telemarketing, telehealth type person. Um, so one of the things we like to do is we like to try to be approachable. Um, you know, in all our pharmacies, um, we have the ability to have a area where we can sit down with a patient and talk to them or at least be able to have a private conversation so they don't have to worry about uh, having their confidence betrayed by having patients in the pharmacy overhear what they have to say. So I think it's important, if nothing else, that you ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions about your medication, about your health condition. You know, we may not have all the answers, but we have some really good resources that we can tap into and help you find solutions. Um, many of us have, um, different specialties that we've trained in or experience that we've had over the years. One of the things that I really enjoy is helping patients find customized compounded solutions. And, uh, you know, we have patients that come in our stores each week that have allergies to certain medications, or maybe they have allergies to red dye, or maybe they're lactose intolerant. Um, so there's different things we could do to help them solve those problems. Um, it does start with, with you, the patient though, you know, you need to take control of your healthcare. Um, and you need to expect more of your pharmacy and your healthcare provider. So don't be afraid to ask those questions. And, um, and if you're looking for a change and maybe you've had an experience where you've been a little frustrated with how you've interacted with a mail order pharmacy or, or a, a facility, it might be an opportunity for you to give us a try at the medicine center and show you can see what we can help you do. Our health coach, are a wonderful asset. You know, those, those staff members can reach out to you on a monthly basis, check in with you, make sure everything's going okay before you get your prescription picked up or delivery. Um, it's kind of an extra touch point that we like to offer for you so that you can be confident in, in, your, in your ability to maintain your own health and, and take advantage of what your doctor is trying to help you do. So it's really important to make sure that you know your pharmacy, know your pharmacist. And, you know, one of the things that's a challenge now Um, Without trying to give a jab at some of these TV commercials, we're going to talk about how to make medication more affordable here in a minute, but it's really important that your pharmacist knows all the medications you're taking. You might be forced to go to mail order. And, you know, that's something that sometimes happens, but it's important that at the, at the pharmacy, we know that you're taking that other medication so we can screen for drug interactions and incompatibilities that, um, we don't want you to be at risk for something that you're taking that we don't know about. So it helps us to have the whole picture, even what you're taking over the counter. You know, knowing your pharmacist, I've been a pharmacist for over 50 years. And I started working at a chain, the Schumann Drug Company, which was around in Canton for years. And, and I can still remember some of the questions and some of the discussions I've had with um, patients in the pharmacies over the years. And some of them even still clear back 
in the Schumann Drug Company years. And, and it's interesting to watch and to have watched families grow from um, having their first children, your first child, and, and then ch children growing up and becoming adults and becoming customers in our stores. And it, it's not a week that goes by that somebody doesn't stop me and say, oh, I was one of your first customers in the in the Canton store back in 1976. And I, I look at them and say, oh, yeah, I remember you. And it, and, and there are a few of them that, that still are left. And, and uh, it's sadness is that it's so many um, folks that were customers over the early years and are no longer around. And and some of their stories and, and, and some of the, the ways they lived and the way they died um, is very, very sad. But, but I can still remember many cases where people talk to me, people ask me for information, you know, how can, I, how can you uh, uh, help me and how do I take this med? So it's been a wonderful experience for me to talk to people. So, so how about number nine tip? Let's make it affordable. Uh, we all know health care and prescriptions can be expensive. But you may not know that sometimes we can help make it affordable. So suggest to our customers, Brad, uh, who are struggling with the cost of the meds, what the solutions are. There are many solutions out there. And if you ever turn on the TV, you're bombarded by companies that um, try to have products that want to help you. I would suggest you start with your pharmacist first. Um, and the reason I say that is, is um, there's a lot of possibilities in our healthcare solutions now. And it's interesting because we have more generic medications available than we ever have. And I think on some level, generic medications still get a little bit of a bad rap when it comes to the perception of quality. You know, getting a generic Lipitor tablet is not the same thing as buying generic paper towels at the grocery store, if you can get them. Um, you know, the FDA monitors the quality of all the products sold in the U.S., and a generic medication is simply a medication that is available by another manufacturer that's had to meet the demands of the FDA, but they didn't have to pay for all the research and development. The patent expired on the medication, and they don't pay for those big expensive ads you see on TV. They don't have to pay for the billboards that you see now at the baseball stadiums. Um, you know, so basically they're able to make a medication that's gone off patent at a much lower cost and they pass that savings on to the consumer. So the first thing I'd recommend you do is, is if you get a big expensive medication and you roll into the pharmacy and the copay is hundreds of dollars, don't be afraid to ask one of our pharmacists, is there something else in the drug family that I might be able to use that'll give me the same benefit? And we can talk that over with you. We can talk it over with your provider. And there's quite possibly a solution we can find in that drug family. Now, there are a lot of TV ads now, and there's GoodRx, there's Single Care, there's all these companies out there. Um, sometimes they provide benefit for the patient, but it's very important that you know that when you take advantage of a program like that, those companies are taking your personal data and they're selling it. So if you're concerned about your privacy and especially the privacy of your healthcare, it's very important that you're aware that um, these particular companies are in it for a profit and they're selling your data. So um, be aware of that. And, um, you know, I had a phone call from someone that I really respect um, last week when I was working in the pharmacy in Louisville. And the patient called and asked um, if we took the GoodRx card and then he said, you know, I, I want to get my Viagra prescription there. And um, not to poke um, anything at that particular medication, but the interesting part and the takeaway from my story is, is the patient didn't know there was a generic available for Viagra. And, you know, Viagra costs like 60 or $70 a tablet these days. The generic costs a fraction of that. And so the patient was actually going to use their GoodRx card and buy their brand name Viagra at 60 some odd dollars a tablet, and they could have had a whole bunch of tablets for a fraction of that if they got the generic. So I guess I'm just trying to encourage you, don't be afraid to ask questions. Is this the best solution? Is the best price? How do I save money? Um, there used to be a time in our environment where there were actually rules and laws and our contracts that prevented the pharmacist from telling you the bottom line. All of those have been stripped away happily. Um, our legislators have fixed that. So we can 
we don't have to be restricted in giving you an honest opinion about what to do and how to make the most benefit of your medication. So sometimes it just starts with a conversation and don't be afraid to ask. Um, again, knowledge is power. No. Um, also, uh, there's a lot of coupons available for some of the brand name drugs uh, out there. In fact, I was taking one for, uh, that had a, <laughs> frankly, <laughs> was very expensive and it had a massive coupon that saved a lot of money on the copay. So I believe we still have most of those loaded in our computers. Is that correct? Yeah, we do have manufacturer coupons available. Um, they always have some restrictions, but there really are a lot of programs out there to help patients ease the burden on copays. Um, and, you know, one of the things that we've done is it appears we, we have been able to make a relationship with one of our providers so that even if you, the patient, don't know about a coupon program from a particular manufacturer, our computer system is hooked up with their their system and it can help apply and get you approved for that coupon so that it can save you additional money without you extending the effort. So there are truly a lot of solutions available. Um, unfortunately, healthcare and medications can be terribly expensive, but sometimes there's a different way to skin the cat for lack of a better analogy. And that's something that um, we'd love to try to help you do because we want to help you keep you healthy. We want to keep you out of the hospital. And generally by taking your medication on a daily basis, as your doctor prescribed, will help maintain your heart and blood pressure and blood sugar. And that'll help keep you safe and out of the hospital. Okay. Uh, we should probably take our last break here. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Yes, we are open. We are open. The Medicine Center Pharmacies and the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville are open. Some great services are still in play. Our drive through windows, curb service, and our enhanced delivery service. Our stores are fully inventoried and fully staffed for your convenience. 13 pharmacists to help you with your medications and over-the-counter products. So don't hesitate to visit us or use one of our services. Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, New Philadelphia, and Minerva. Is CBD oil right for you? That may seem like a simple question, but the answers don't come from a convenience food store or a mall kiosk. Your medicine center pharmacist is the most accessible healthcare professional. Our pharmacists have been trained to provide expert CBD oil information to tailor therapies like CBD capsules, tinctures, lotions, and ointments to your particular need. We have the highest quality organic Colorado-grown non-GMO full-spectrum CBD oil products. Visit the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult days, please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Make sure you have Kleenex, acetaminophen or Tylenol, ibuprofen or Advil, Mucinex, Robitussin or Dayquil, cough drops, maybe even a humidifier or a vaporizer, you can also just turn the shower on hot and sit in the bathroom breathing in the steam. How about vitamin D and a probiotic? And a good multivitamin like Linus Pauling Super Multivitamins that you'll find only in the medicine center pharmacies. So take care of yourselves and don't stress about the coronavirus. Make sure you get plenty of rest and plenty of healthy food. Medicine Center Pharmacy, Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. Are you tired of spending time sorting your medication? Hi, pharmacist Paul White for the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Whether you are a caregiver or personally take medications, our pill packets will change how you take your medication forever. Instead of multiple pill bottles, you want to receive one easy dispensing box that contains all of your medications in individual packets. Organized by date, time, with instructions clearly labeled, it's simple, convenient, and safe. Call or stop by your local Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and thanks for joining us this morning. So we have the last segment of the show coming up. So number 10 tip, 
enjoy life. I was talking with to a 91 year old lady last night and she says, you know, I can't go anywhere. We can't go anywhere. And, you know, we hope that making life easier at the pharmacy will contribute to your overall happiness and be well. Um, we appreciate you and, and wish you health every day. You know, there's so many ways to, I mean, this, this summer has been just, I hear so many people say this has been a miserable summer. Um, I guess the good thing about the summer is the sun's and sunshine's been out almost every day. And okay, it's been awful hot some days, but um, go outside. Uh, I've also heard talk to people and heard people uh, say, I haven't been out of the house in three months. And I'm thinking, you got to get outside. You got to do something. Walk around the house, walk around the allotment, uh, call some friends, you know, whatever. So, what else do you suggest, Brad? I have to agree that I know it's been a challenging summer mentally to manage with everything going on that none of us have really been through before, but I have to agree that the weather has been glorious. Um, I hope we don't pay for it this winter with a cold winter, but, um, but, you know, there are some things that um, we hope, like you say that at the pharmacy, you know, we know that the pharmacy is not the number one place you want to go shop. Um, you, you know, you generally have only come to us if you have a healthcare condition that you're frustrated with. Um, hopefully, if you have a problem, um, you know, we can help you provide a solution. And there's a number of different things that we have tried to do to make that simpler from some of the services we've offered. Um, you know, we've got some new uh, features on our website that make it real easy so that if you're pressed for time, you can do some things that um, might free up some time. You can do refills on our, on our website. So if you need to refill your prescription and, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning, you can go on our website, punch in your number, the refill comes up, piece of cake. Um, you can also schedule vaccinations like we suggested or schedule lab tests on our website. So hopefully that might be something that um, maybe if you didn't realize we had home delivery, or maybe if you didn't realize that we offered medication synchronization or health coaches, um, that might be something that's a pleasant surprise. One of the things that um, is interesting is we often get phone calls from, um, from caregivers who are concerned about loved ones that live out of state. Um, and maybe they just want that extra little bit of confidence that they know that someone's helping their loved one manage their medication. So whether that's through our easy dose packs or our health coach phone calls or our home delivery, uh, that might be something that um, can help give you some peace of mind knowing that you've got someone else that's watching your back and helping you with your, with your challenge that you're faced with. Um, the other thing we're trying to do too, to help you get more out of life is try to help give you some education to provide you with more solutions. Um, this health matters program is one example. You know, each week we try to have a guest on that um, has a particular specialty that has important information to share. It might be about the dent It might be about dentistry. It might be about uh, new cutting edge cancer treatments, or it might be something today that we're just trying to prepare you for the upcoming cough, cold, and flu season and give you some tips on how to take care of your immune system and give you an advantage. Um, one of the things that um, we're doing is um, we're going to have a seminar. It's, it's going to be a webinar. It's going to be on Facebook and, and Zoom in the end of September. It's going to be on September 30th at 7 p.m. You can register on our website by going to uh, the services tab and then clicking on uh, webinars. And we're going to have a webinar on chronic pain and the alternative pain solutions that are available out there now. And, you know, there's we have patients every day that come in the pharmacy that are suffering. And, you know, some are suffering from different conditions that are, are related to injuries. Some are just related to problems like fibromyalgia or arthritis that are just have been building up for years. And many patients have been to dozens of doctors and tried dozens of medications and are having trouble finding solutions. So we like to be solution providers. So whether it be to help you figure out how to get your medication delivered in a timely fashion or to help you find a therapy or a provider that might help you give a different perspective on your health and well-being, if we can help improve your, your pain control and your quality of life, that helps you enjoy life more. 
So it might be a solution where we can help you figure out a way to reduce your burden on every, on any given day of getting out of bed in the morning and being able to do what you want to do, whether that's take a walk around the block, or maybe that's going for a swim or just enjoying the sunshine like we have today. You know, there's so many new products in the pharmacy that can help you. Um, you know, there's a lot of me too's. There's a lot of generic Tylenols and there's a lot of generic this and a lot of generic that, but some of the newer things that have come out to help relieve your pain are, are patches um, with lidocaine in them. And um, a couple of sizes, as I recall, I've tried them. They work pretty good. Um, and another thing I think that's important is, is making sure that your over-the-counter purchases or the over-the-counter products you're taking mesh with your prescription drugs. This, this, this era, this time is totally unlike what it was like when I first started in pharmacy. We had so few over-the-counter products and frankly, we didn't have a lot of prescription drugs. We had nothing practically for cholesterol. Uh, we had one or two uh, oral tranquilizers um, prescription wise. And, and now we have myriads of, of prescription drugs for all sorts of, uh, of uh, disorders. So please make sure when you, when you purchase your over-the-counter stuff that um, you check with a pharmacist, your pharmacist, our pharmacist. You know, we have 13 pharmacists. We just hired a new young man. Um, uh, he's very good. Um, we got him on the flu shot line here right now. And um, he's coming on very sharp. We did the Louisville administration and police department yesterday with flu vaccine. So um, I, I think some of the really important things out of today's show is, is, is the importance of, of a flu vaccine or a flu shot this year for you because we still have that virus running around the coronavirus and I can't even imagine what it would be like if you catch them both at the same time so um, uh, I became a flu shot aficionado last year for the first time in years and we're going to get another one this year so um, critically important I believe we have plenty of vaccine it's coming in almost every other day and um, stop in the pharmacy call the pharmacy you don't really need an appointment um, but um, get a flu shot take care of yourself take your vitamins and do some things that uh, nutrition wise fresh fruits um, balanced meals uh, don't eat all the junk. Don't live on the junk. Okay. And sugar. If you drink a can of pop, a sugar can of pop, it's got 14 teaspoons of sugar in it. So you need to remember that the best things out there for you are water for fluid replacement. Coffee's okay. Tea's okay. Um, but um, water's the most important. Good, clean water. Time-wise, we don't have much left here. So what else you got, Brad? Well, I just want to remind everybody to check out our webinar on September 30th at 7 p.m. It uh, will be live. I have a special guest, David Yazel, who is a PhD from Yale, who is going to speak on the, uh, the current research for chronic pain patients. So it's really exciting. And um, we're looking forward to having more educational programs in the future. So if you have a question or something you'd like to learn more about, don't be afraid to um, send, a, send us a message below the comments in this program on Facebook or send me an email and you can do that from our website. Okay. Thanks for listening today. Um, we'd like to remind our listeners, if you suspect you have a medical issue, please contact your healthcare provider. And thanks to our sponsors, Mercy Medica, Medical Center, Studio Arts and Glass, and of course, our technical producer, J.D. DeAndles. As always, we thank you listeners for joining us on Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Have a healthy week, and we'll see you right here next Friday on News Talk 1480 WHBC. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, your pharmacists, Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now at MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. Be sure to join us next Friday at this time for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. The preceding program was sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies. WHBC AM Canton. Trusted, reliable.